Meet Laura Stone. Her face is becoming familiar to many, not only because she's one of today's most in-demand models, but also because of her curious facial expressions. Should I laugh more? Because somebody else told me that as well, actually, two days ago. It was like you, that was the first question to ask me, like, why don't you ever smile? <laughs> I just don't have a smiley face anyway, except when I'm talking to people and being like, whatever, normal. So, I don't know, maybe I'll try today. But what's the real story behind her wince? My feet are so little, and the shoes are always so big, and then last season I fell over all the time. What size foot are you that, that's so tiny? Like a really small 37. They always fall off, and I'm always, I always get so scared. Today it's good because everybody has flat shoes, so it's starting off well. I started modeling a long time ago, about 10 years ago. When I was 13, somebody, I was on, um, on holiday in Paris and we were with my whole family in the metro and this woman came up to me and asked me if I wanted to be a model. And I'm like, I just started laughing at her pretty much because it didn't really make any sense. And then my parents kind of liked the idea and they sent the pictures to the agency in Holland and, and um, then they did a competition, which I didn't win. And then I started working in Holland on the weekends until I was 16. And then I got thrown out of high school and then my mom sent me away to Paris. I want to backtrack to where you got kicked out of high school. Oh. <laughs> what was that for? Um, for being very naughty. <laughs> I'm really bad with um, authorities. And when people tell me what to do, I want to do the opposite. So that's exactly what I did for the longest time. And they were kind of over it after a while. So they just decided to throw me out. I lived in Paris for a year. And then I decided I need to get some kind of diploma. So then I went to do this evening school in Holland, which is really easy. And we made a good deal with them that I had to, I only had to show up to make midterms. So I had to go to Holland every four every three or four months just to make some tests and then the final exam at the end of the year. And that was it. And then I graduated high school. So in the end, it seems as though mother really did know best. She was like, well, you want to do everything yourself anyway. And so fine, go for it, go away. <laughs> And it kind of worked out for the best because she was right in that way that if she would have sent me to another school, the same thing would have happened. And I just had to do something on my own and take care of myself. And then, my, then I realized myself that I had to go back to school. So that was kind of her plan and it worked out exactly the way she planned it. The Calvin Klein campaign star knows she won't model forever. She plans to take her career to new altitudes. I'm not sure yet. I wanted to be a pilot for a really long time because I'm extremely afraid of flying and I have major panic attacks and everything. So then I figured I'll do it myself. And that's what I wanted to do. So I'll definitely get like a flying kind of license or something. But I don't think I want to spend the rest of my life in an airplane either. So I don't really know. I'm still thinking about it.